So a question that I get from people is like, okay, um, I'm interested in spiritual practice, but I'm also in, interested in like working on my attachment, conditioning, healing. And then, you know, they'll ask about like the order of doing those things. So should I do like spiritual practice meditation first, or should I go kind of work on this more mundane psychological healing? Should I work on that first? And I think you certainly can fruitfully work, do kind of deeper spiritual practice while having a lot of unresolved kind of psychological issues. But generally speaking, I think it's better to do like the working on the mundane psychological healing first and then do the deeper spiritual work. And I think there are various reasons for that. First is, um, if there's unresolved psychological issues, you will be using meditation and spiritual practice to deal with those unconsciously. Um, and that's not the end of the world that can actually kind of work, but I don't think it's optimal. And so let me give you some examples. Like, so when there's say a little bit of narcissism or problems with self-esteem, then there can be this kind of clinging on to meditation practices or some of the promises of spiritual practice to feel better about self and even kind of like try to overcome it in a kind of, I would call it like more disintegrated kind of narcissistic way. And again, I'm not, I don't mean to say narcissistic way in a, like a pathologizing way. I mean, you know, we've had, uh, if we have disturbances of the sense of self, which is, uh, which is universal for people with insecure attachment, then there will be some kind of narcissistic vulnerability.